Learn the magic of fill in, a masterclass on phrasal verbs. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the world of phrasal verbs, specifically focusing on the verb fill in. As part of our series on common phrasal verbs with in, we're going to explore the various meanings and usage of fill in. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to comfortably use this phrasal verb in your everyday English conversation. As many of you may already know, a phrasal verb is a verb combined with one or more words, typically prepositions or adverbs. Our star today, fill in, is a phrasal verb that generally has two main uses. Firstly, it can mean to complete a form or provide necessary information. For example, I had to fill in my details on the application form. Secondly, it can mean to substitute for someone or something. For example, John is sick today, so Mary will fill in for him at the meeting. Now that we understand the basic meanings, let's see how we can use fill in in different contexts. To provide missing information, for example, could you fill me in on what happened at the meeting yesterday? To cover a hollow space, for example, I will fill in the hole in the garden with soil. To help you get comfortable with using fill in, let's do a few practice exercises together. Try to fill in the blanks with the appropriate form of this phrasal verb. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. 1. Could you underscore 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 for me at the conference tomorrow? I won't be able to make it. 2. Please underscore 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 the blanks on this form before submitting it. Well done, everyone. You've now learned how to use the phrasal verb, fill in, and its different uses in various contexts. As always, the key to mastering any new element of language is consistent practice. So, make sure you use fill in in your conversations or writings whenever appropriate. Remember, the beauty of language lies in its use. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons on English language learning. Until then, keep practicing, keep learning, and keep growing your language skills. Happy learning!